Hey guys, welcome back to the Fit Channel where I try to explain things in the most basic and simple way possible so you can apply it to your training and other parts of your life if it is necessary. And welcome to video number three, the training. Now, I did video number one on the mindset um, that you absolutely have to have before you can even start this journey. I did video number two on the diet, um, which is the most important part of this entire thing. And now we're at video number three, the training, how you should go about training as a beginner or just getting started in to this lifestyle. So let's do this. The very first thing that you should do as a beginner is not um, lift weights and do a bunch of cardio and you know worry about things like that. The very first thing you should do is develop a relationship with the gym. This is very important because let's be honest, it's not for everyone. And because if it was, everyone would look good. And that just isn't the case. Now, um, if you go out and let's say you go to Walmart or or Target or anywhere in public, you'll notice that there's only a handful of people that look good, that look like they actually care about their appearance, about their physiques. Um, and that's not accidental. Um, this lifestyle can be uh, very demanding and can be hard to stay on track. So it's one of those things where you have to want it. And those people have developed a love and a relationship with the gym that they have made it a priority in their life. Um, you can't look that way any other way. So the first thing you have to do is develop a healthy relationship with training. When you have developed this healthy relationship with the gym, um, when the time comes where you're not as motivated for whatever reason, um, this will keep you on track. This will keep you going to the gym even when you really don't feel like it. It becomes like brushing your teeth. It's something that you have to do. So you'll just do it um, even when you're not very motivated. Now, if you go into the gym and you are you are a beginner and you're gung-ho and everything is um, pedal to the metal, expect to burn out, especially as a beginner. Results don't come from showing up a couple times a week. Um, results come from a long period of time where you've dedicated and really put forth the effort to get the results that you're looking for. Now, I know Instagram and Facebook will make it seem like you can build a physique overnight and that's just not the case um, to build a quality physique takes time especially as a natural building a healthy relationship with the gym will allow you to turn this into a lifestyle it's not something that you're just doing for fun. Um, you're doing it because it's what you really want. Remember, consistency is king. Um, anything that you're consistently bad at, you can consistently get good at it if you spend enough time practicing. This is no different. It takes a lot of time and consistency to get the results that you want. Um, don't become discouraged if you don't get there right away. Nine times out of 10, you won't. 
my first two years of training was a waste of time. Um, I didn't understand nutrition. I was doing way more than what was required in order to get the results that I want. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. And if you want longevity, you have to pace yourself. You're not going to um, run full speed for the rest of your life. So remember, patience equals longevity. Now, the split that I recommend for a beginner. If you are a pure beginner or you're someone that hasn't been in the gym for quite some time, you'll be able to get results doing the bare minimum. Um, I recommend a four day a week split. Let's say you work out Monday and Tuesday, you take Wednesday off, you do Thursday and Friday, and you take the weekend off to start. And what that split would look like would be a upper lower rest, upper lower program. Meaning um, Monday you would do upper body, Tuesday lower body, Wednesday rest, Thursday upper body, Friday lower body, take the weekend off. But your diet is consistent. Your diet stays the same, whether you train or not. Remember, diet is 85% of reaching your goal. The gym is just a place to break down the muscle, burn calories. Um, it's actually the fun part of the whole thing for those of you who understand what I'm talking about. Um, the hardest part of it all is the nutrition. That's why it's very important that your nutrition stays on point no matter what. Remember these three things, cardio, strength training, and flexibility. Um, I like to prioritize it as strength building, cardio, and then flexibility. Um, if I want to build a physique that is muscular and has curves and that is appealing to the eye, strength training is my main priority. Um, cardio is for me to burn the unwanted body fat and the flexibility is to keep my joints and limbs safe um, so I can train at my optimal and not and reduce the risk of getting injured so remember as a beginner less is actually more you'll be able to recomp your physique by doing the very minimal your body is not used to strength training and physical activity so you'll be able to build muscle and burn fat at the same time for at least your first year, maybe even two years. After that, you'll notice that those gains um, as far as strength and muscle building will start to come very slowly. And that's because your body has now adapted to its new environment. So take advantage of those first couple of years. Less is more, run a four day split, upper lower rest, upper lower, take the weekends off, build a healthy relationship with the gym so it becomes a place that you enjoy going to. Um, it doesn't become a detriment to your life the other side of this is when it becomes a detriment and it's a thing that you don't look forward to doing, that's when you're not going to achieve the results that you want. That's why I started with you have to build a healthy relationship. You have to love what you're doing 
before you do it. Um, for longevity, enjoyment, and getting the results that you want. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. I try to keep this as short and as simple as possible. Um, to get the results that you want is not rocket science, but you do have to want it, you have to be consistent, and you have to be willing to do the work. It's just that simple. Instagram, Facebook promotes things that aren't true um, to sell you things that you don't need. All you have, all you really need is the will. If you have the will to get the results that you want, it can be done, but you have to believe that it's possible first, even if no one else does. So remember that. Once again, I want to thank you for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at Harley Davidson or nothing. You can follow me on Twitter at FitLifeOver40. My podcast is available on Apple and Spotify. And the name of my podcast is FitLifeOver40. Once again, I want to thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.